Okay, this video is going to show you how to add a post, an announcement to the Alumni Association webpage. So, first thing you need is your password, your member name and password, and then you're going to scroll down here to log in, and you'll enter your username and password here. If this is a computer you are, you are on a lot and no one else is on, you can click Remember Me, and that way every time you come back, you'll automatically be logged in. You won't have to go through the screen. So, we log in and that will take you to what's called the dashboard. Most of this on the dashboard you can explore later. We are just going to go to add a new post right here on the side. Mouse over post and click on add new. It's going to give you a new post page which is right here and it always starts with enter title here. So how to add a new post. Okay. Um, when you first open this you may not see this second row. If you don't toolbar toggle here adds and removes that. There's some extra pieces there. This is basically just like um, going from a word processor. Indents, you got there, you got a line right, left. Um, you can do head headers here, headlines, um, and add content there. Um, so let's go. What I usually do is I write it in another program, and then I come back over here, and I just paste it in. Um, it's a little easier that way, and now I notice. Oh, I have a spell. I have a spelling error here, and if it looks too tight, go to your new paragraph, back up once, delete, hit enter again. That'll give you the the full space on there. Um, so now you're ready. You've got your content here, and you want to add a picture to it. So you go add. Uh, that's not what I wanted. We want to go to click, click, click. Let's get rid of that. Uh, are you sure? Yes go to add media. We want to add a picture. The media library is here. These are some pictures we already have. I'm not sure if you will see those or not. You may only see your own. As an editor, I may see more than you do. Um, you are signed up as an author, so you can change your own work, um, but you can't change anybody else's. So I'm not sure if these will show up. But you can always just upload, just like normal, drop, drag and drop here, or click select file. It'll open um, your browser's um, select file uh, window. Then just go through that like you'd normally find a file. So media library, again, once you upload something it shows up here. I'm using this picture. I want a little caption underneath it. So I've got a caption there. You can type that in. I want to put it in the center. It's going to link to the real file because the size you want, you don't want full size. You want 300 width is about right for a web page. Um, they can click on it if they want to see the big version. And then we just go insert into post. Click on that and there's your there's your picture with the caption. Then we wanted to write a little bit more down here and we got a little carried away and we added a whole lot and we don't want all that on the home page. So what we're going to do is you want a little teaser paragraph, a little introduction to what's going on and maybe a photo and then we're going to say oh click on this one here insert read more tag and a little button pops up here that says more. All of this will appear on the home page of the website with a link saying read more after this. Um, so that will help keep the front page, the home page, from being too cluttered. Next step is you want to say what category is this in. So I'm going to put it in BAA and I'm also going to put it way down at the bottom here in general interest. Um, but you probably are going to be putting it under your class year. So just find your class year if it's a joint if it's a joint event, you can do a couple years. Um, if you click any of the years here, it will also show up in the classes of 60 to 69. So um, you don't need to overclick; just click the years that you're most interested in. Um, and then down here, um, sticky status. I'm not sure if you'll see that, but just keep that as normal. Now it's an event, probably, so you can have a start time and an end time. So we can go in here and we can say, oh, we got something going on on November uh, 14th. And it starts, it's a Friday evening event. It's starting at 6. So that's plus 12 is 18. So we're going to start at 1800 there. And we're going to end, it's going all night. Boy, we're going till, till uh, midnight. So that's 12 o'clock the next day. The four, um, Close that out. So there's our Friday event. Maybe you have a Saturday event too you can add another one here and you can put in a different time. So this would be November 
15th is Friday, and this one's starting at a nice reasonable time of noon for a nice picnic in the park. And notice I'm holding, I'm holding down the shift key to get it to go back in numbers. If I just click on it by itself, it'll go forward in numbers. So I click that, and the picnic ends at 6 o'clock. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, oh, 19. It ends at 6 o'clock. Okay, and there is your event. You've got times in here. Um, we've got categories, and we're ready now to view it. I always say save early, save often, so save your draft right now. It's going to take a minute because it's actually now uploading it to the website and saving it there. And then you can click on Preview. Preview is going to open up a new tab. This is not yet visible to the public, but you can see what you have here. And there's all my extra, right, all that garbage I pasted in there. There's my dates um, on the 14th from 6 to midnight and on the 15th from noon to 6. Okay, so you might want to make that 12, 1159 so it shows up being the same day. Um, to avoid confusing people. Uh, and so now I think I'm ready, so I'm going to close out that tab, and um, we're ready to make it go live. One other thing I want to show you before you do that, if you're into HTML and you know how to do it, click on the text here. Here's all the HTML code. You can add other content in there if you want to, um, if you know it. So you want to do something fancy in there, you want to give it fancy coloring or something, you can do that. Well, coloring you can also do up here. Um, we can go up here and we can say, oh, let's change the text color. Let's make that red, right? And, and, or let's make it bold and red. And the nice thing is, just like a word processor, it's got undo. So you can undo a mistake you made without even moving on. So we are ready to post this. We're going to click on Publish. And now it is going live on the website. And I'll show you what that looks like um, as soon as it uploads here and, and refreshes itself. Okay, we're running a There we go. All right, now I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go visit site. So let's look at what this post looks like on the website. So our site always starts with a welcome message at the top and then the most recent post will show up here. They will, we, as we scroll down, there are older ones here showing up below that. That's the one I messed up on. So this one is going to show up here. Um, so I'm ready to go. When I'm here, if I want to, I can click, oh, here's my continue reading, right? If I click on that, it's going to take them to wherever they left off there. Um, if you want to share this on Facebook or some other social networking site or email it to somebody, click on the title here. This will take you to the actual page, and the address in your menu bar at the top will be the address of this page. Um, and so that's, it's a relatively nice short one. It's not going to get broken by an email or, or a web or Facebook or anything else. So then you're ready to go. If you want to ch change it at all, once I'm here, if I'm logged in and I have editing privileges, I will see edit here as well. I click on that and I can go back and edit it because what I want to get rid of all this little garbage here. I don't really need that. So I can, uh, well, maybe not. Okay, let's click here and get rid of all that. And oh, I also wanted to get rid of the dates because it's not really an event. Um, and then I, now you notice it says update instead of publish because it's already been updated. Um, if you want to share it, um, you can you save your draft. You could also change it here. Um, if you want to make it not visible to the public, you can change that. Um, so we're ready to update this, and you're ready to go. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below this post, and um, you will see I will respond to comments there. All right, that should take care of it. Enjoy. Happy reunions.